preload is a little bit of an easier concept, at least in my mind, to understand. Preload is, um, in essence, the amount of blood coming back to the heart, which then will cause the left ventricle to stretch a little bit. So it could be considered the pressure inside the left ventricle at the end of ventricular filling. So the left atrium will squeeze, pushes the blood down to the left ventricles, and then that pressure is considered the preload. So preload has to do with the amount of blood returning to the heart, and it also has to do with how much the stretch of the heart uh, happens, or how much stretch there is in the heart. And a good way for us to kind of visualize that is to use a rubber band. Now the concept is called the Frank Starling effect, and the more you stretch the left ventricle, the stronger the contraction is gonna be, kind of like with a rubber band. So I'll show you. So with the rubber band, you know, it's pretty pretty loose right now. This would be like your ventricle, left ventricle being empty. And then as it starts to fill up, it starts to stretch further and further and further. And that's the strength, Frank Starling effect, the, or sometimes just called the Starling effect. The further you stretch this, the more you stretch the left ventricle, the more power, power there is going to be. So if I snuck up behind a friend and I had to stretch way back here and I let go, that's gonna hurt more than if I had stretched it just a little bit. So if I have very little blood returning to the heart, I'm only going to be able to stretch the left ventricle a little bit. But if I have a lot of blood returning to the heart, then I can stretch it much further, and that's going to cause a bigger snap.